So today I'm going to show you how to install the Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8. This is currently the non-Forge version, so once the mod updates to Forge, it'll be a slightly different tutorial, um, so I'll make a new one when that happens. But for right now, this is the correct tutorial for it. A lot of people who have tutorials out for the mod simply just updated their titles to their videos, so if you try to use their tutorials, it will not actually work because they're installing it the Forge way, not the new way for the beta version of it. So, yeah, so I hope you do appreciate that, that this is the actual correct way to, to install the Shaders mod. But let's go ahead and install it. First, you'll need the Shaders mod, a sh or Shaders pack. All right, Shaders packs can be found on the Shaders mod forum page, and a resource pack called Chroma Hills if you want to run it a little bit better than, you know, uh, just regularly default. So anyways, go to the Shaders mod forum page. You'll need the correct, the, the current version, which right now is for Minecraft 1.8. And you will notice that it's for the non-Forge edition. All right. So yeah, just this is for the non-Forge edition. If it says Forge edition, that means the mod is updated. There'll be a new tutorial for the, and there'll be an annotation on the screen as well as first thing in the description. Do not click on this download page, all right? The download link on this page will actually take you to first to a site that will download something for you automatically, which if you run it, you'll definitely download a virus on you on the on your computer. And then the second time you click it, it takes you to the actual download link. So just do not click on this download page. Use the alternative one, all right? This is a much safer way to download the mod, all right? So click on the one. This takes you through AdFly, you'll have to wait 5 seconds. If you have any problems with AdFly, you can exit out of it and click it again, and it usually works the second time around. If you have a loop on the countdown before you click the skip add button, you can disable AdBlock. That's usually the reason why. Alright, so here we have the shaders mod. Click the blue download button, and it'll go ahead and download it for you. It may say this file may harm your computer, that's because this is a .jar file, so go ahead and click keep. Alright, it is not a virus. All right. Next, you'll need a shaders pack, which you can actually find on their forum page. Scroll on down to the shaders pack section, and you can use any of the shaders packs you want. Now, keep in mind that a lot of them aren't necessarily supported for 1.8. A lot of them are still in 1.7. However, for example, the Sonic Ellers Unbelievable Shaders, it says for it's compatible with 1.7.5. However, it does work with 1.8, and I assume that's the case for most of these. All right, they'll work. Uh, they might be a little bit buggy. All right, so you can click the topic link. It'll take you to the, the, the Zeus forum page here. Keep in mind also that certain shaders will not work for certain graphics card. If you have NVIDIA and AMD, Sonic Ellers Unbelievable Shaders will work. However, if you have Intel HD graphics, it won't. All right, so keep that in mind also. Read up on the shaders pack a little bit just to make sure it's compatible with your video card. All right, so you want to scroll on down to the download section and just go ahead and click uh, any of the downloads here. And it'll go ahead and download the shaders packs for you. And then if you want the Chroma Hills texture pack to kind of run shaders a little bit better, here's the 1.8 section to download them right here. You can click the links in the description. And now we have these three things here. All right, so let's go ahead and actually install the mod. First off, you'll need to actually run Minecraft 1.8, so make sure you do so before you actually install these shaders packs. All right, so let's go ahead and run the shaders mod now. You want to go to right click Go to open with and choose Java TM Platform SE Binary. All right. If you don't have it as an option right here, click choose default program and search for it here in your other programs. If you still do not have it, click the video link in the description. It'll have it'll be like Java Fix or whatever. You'll be able to find Java doing this, this looking at this video. So make sure you click on it so you can actually run the installer. All right. So there we go. And just hit yes. And also make sure you close the Minecraft launcher before you do so and then hit yes. All right, and click, go ahead and click OK. And there it goes ahead and it went ahead and installed it. So now you want to actually run Minecraft just to make sure that everything is OK. And it may take a little while the first time you run the shaders pack. or I mean the shaders, I keep wanting to call it the shaders pack. But first time you run the shaders mod, it may take a while to, to boot up. It's just generating files and stuff. Make sure you choose your profile and set it to 1.8 shaders mod. There will be a new option here. You know, And go ahead and click play. There we go. I just went ahead and skipped ahead just a little bit just to, you know, cut back on time a little bit. But anyways, just make sure that you have the shaders option. Go to option, go to shaders, and there you go. This there We have the shaders section. We don't have anything here just simply because we haven't installed anything yet, but it's right there. This shaders button will be new under options. All right, so let's go ahead and quit out of the game. Make sure you exit out of this now. Now you want to head on over to your search bar, type in percent app data percent so that's percent app data percent and go ahead and hit enter this takes you to your roaming folder inside your roaming folder will be your dot minecraft folder you may have to search for it but it's usually right here at the top go ahead and double click your dot minecraft folder then you want to go to your shaders packs folder which is a newly generated in folder once we ran the shaders pack or the shaders mod um so go ahead and enter the shaders pack folder 
Packs folder. All right, take the Shaders packs that you're wanting to install. Just they're all installed the exact same way. I'm just using the Sonic Others Unbelievable Shaders as an example. All you do is you drag them into the Shaders packs folder, and they'll go ahead and then work for you. If you want to install the Chroma Hills Texture Pack, go to your Resource Packs folder and double click your resource packs folder and drag the chroma hills texture pack in there like that and we are now done with installing the mod i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this work now and you know show you guys how to initiate the shaders but again make sure your profile is set to 1.8 shaders mod there we go if you if you run it as your regular minecraft name you'll actually run it as default minecraft so make sure it's set to the 1.8 shaders mod and then you shouldn't have a problem loading it up and working just keep in mind that certain shaders will not work with short, certain graphics cards. They're just not compatible with certain graphics cards. So just keep that in mind. If you load up Minecraft while you, as soon as you initiate the shaders and Minecraft crashes, odds are the shaders pack is not compatible with your graphics card. And you'll have to use a different one. All right, but there you go. I have it actually enabled already. But by default, you'll have to actually go into the shaders and click the shaders pack. All right, once you do, there you go. It will work. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I try to keep it relatively short with showing you guys the download links just so you don't accidentally download a virus. So, so yeah, there you go. Um, if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want. I don't necessarily upload any videos to the subscriber feed because I don't, the, these aren't for entertainment. They're simply to help people. Um, if you want to leave a link on the video just because, you know, it was a helpful video and you got you helped. So, yeah, that didn't make much sense what I just said. But anyways, if this video did help you, leave a like on it. It just kind of gets the video ahead of the other people who just simply update the title to get more views and money off of it. So I just do this to help people. So yeah, if you want to like the video, go for it. Uh, you know, you don't have to, but thanks if you do. And thanks.